cap of the container, I've put some of the irradiated salt and we can see the pale orange color of it, I hope. I'll also put some of it on the hot plate. And while we won't be able to see the light that's released, we should see the disappearance of the color. This is ordinary sodium chloride that had been irradiated, but now with the heating, the trapped electrons at the higher levels are able to fall back down to the lower levels, and we end up with the normal white colored sodium chloride crystals. Difficult to see in this dark environment, but I have a container containing <laughs> irradiated sodium chloride. The gamma radiation changes the crystal structure of the sodium chloride and moves some electrons up to higher levels. But because the crystal structure is changed from the intensity of the radiation, the electrons cannot return to their lower energy ground state positions. However, all we have to do is take some of the sodium chloride heat it on a hot plate, and the heating will cause the crystal structure to revert to the normal such that the electrons that had been trapped at the higher energy level can then fall down to the lower energy level. And when electrons move from higher to lower energy levels, we see that as release of radiation. In this instance, it's release of visible light. So we're going to put some of that on the preheated hot plate. and observe the orange light that is released as the electrons revert to the lower energy position.